All right, slingshot projectile. Go. Here we have a makeshift slingshot that will project this ball, which will be our projectile. Here's our starting point, uh, measured out and marked with pencil. And this will is where we'll begin to measure a range from this position to where it lands here on this poster board. One, two, so, three. I hit that one. And that's where our projectile landed on our poster board. And from that, we'll have a measured range and a measured height from the bottom of the ball to where it lands here on the poster board. And with that measured height and range, we should be able to figure out the initial velocity of our projectile. All right, here we're gonna do projectile motion with a consistent velocity using a dart gun. Uh, so most of these are inexpensive, under $10. Uh, this is a Nerf dart in here, loaded. And we have over there set up um, some paper on the ground so we can mark our spot. And the important details we need in this uh, demo and experiment is to get the height from which we fire our projectile. So I'm gonna try and keep this level with the height of the table. The bottom of the dart is going to hit the paper here. So we wanna measure the range. Um, from this height, and we want to measure the height and we want to measure the range, excuse me. So to get the range, so we want to mark the paper, so I'm going to dip my dart in a little bit of water here. Okay, so I'll get a paper marked. I'm going to keep this level, this dart gun level with the table, and I should get a range marked on my paper. Now I'm going to do this again, and I want to do this three times so that I can take the average of all three of those range units and get a better idea what my initial velocity is. Just make sure and wet it. Okay, so it looks like I didn't get that one wet enough, so I'm going to do it again. Okay, the end of the dart. Pull the trigger. Make sure I am at this edge of the table so I get measure my range correctly and fire. Our mark. So we'll measure the range from this point. It's a small little wet dab. Actually easier just to put your finger on there and you can feel it. And measure that distance. So we'll call that R1 our first dart hit. And we want to do this, repeat this for at least a total of three times uh, so we get a variety of range value. Nice shot. And it should be right around our other range value. Projectile motion with a catapult set at 45 degrees. Let's analyze the flight path of this slow ball. Now it's between two. Pop that clip. Angle of elevation, 35 degrees. Angle of elevation, 25 degrees. Angle of elevation of 15 degrees.
Marissa, what you got there? Catapult. And what does the catapult do? Shoot the ball. We're trying to make the ball into a can, which it is impossible. It's sort of far away, huh? It's not impossible. It can be done. We're ready, Dr. Seth. Fire at will. Whoa, that was so close. It's a little hard to get that in there, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dr. Seth, for your catapult expertise. Let's see, how high is the ball from the ground? About... Fifteen centimeters? Yeah, that's about how high it is. Okay, we got fifteen centimeters. And then we're measuring the distance from here to the target. And before you fire, Mr. Seth, I gotta do one more thing. I gotta measure something called the angle of elevation. And that's the angle that this arm is at. So it looks like it's almost completely horizontal. And we could find out by measuring with a protractor. So this thing right here measures angles. And let's go ahead and measure the angle here. All right, what we have, can you put the, the ruler here? And see how flush it is? Let's see. This is what she's talking about. And that's the protractor. That's a protractor, right? And it measures the angles, but we gotta see how flat the ball is compared. Now is the ball like hanging downwards there? Kind of. It is, huh? It's sort of at an angle. What angle is that at? Could you hold this a minute, Seth? Hold that like that. Good, thank you. And what we'll do is we'll measure our angle. Hmm. Hello there, physics folks. Uh, with me is my assistant, Mr. Ulysses Call, and we're trying to determine his pitching speed. And he's going to pitch this baseball out horizontally so it has no vertical velocity components uh, from a certain height. So show us where you're going to hold the ball. Okay, we're going to measure that from uh, the ground to see how far up above the ground the height of the baseball starts. And he's going to pitch over there to the net, which will catch the ball. And it'll be a little lower above the ground. So we'll mark where it's going to hit on the net. And with us there is our assistant, Seth. Hey, Seth. Dr. Seth, and he is going to estimate the pitching speed with the radar gun. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to calculate the pitching speed using the height above the ground to start and the range value and the uh, height above the ground for which the baseball lands. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna... Can I do my pitch finder for sure? Go ahead and pitch us a ball. No. Now we're going to measure the distance from where our pitcher stood to where the ball landed in the net over there. Okay, so we, our assistants are going to help us in this feat. All right, go. Go. 